Hey everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about seven things that you should never do to your Nintendo Switch or with your Nintendo Switch. In this video, I'll be going over all seven. Let's get right into the video. Number one, you should never take your Nintendo Switch apart unless you know exactly what you're doing. I know that there's lots of tutorials on YouTube and I'm a YouTuber saying this, but I would never dare take my Switch apart unless I knew exactly what I was doing. I've seen lots of people take their Joy-Cons apart and that's probably okay because there's fewer components in the Joy-Cons and if you mess up a Joy-Con, you can replace it at a relatively inexpensive cost. If you mess up your Switch, it's going to cost you a lot more money, okay? So that's why I recommend that you know exactly what you're doing if you even think about considering taking it apart. Number two, never carry it around without a case. You can see I'm holding it without a case here, but I do have my case right over here, and anytime that I'm transporting it, I always have the case with me, okay? I would never dare carry this around without a case because it would get scratched up and it might get damaged. Number three, you should never use it without a screen protector, okay? I had my Nintendo Switch for a couple days without a screen protector, um, and then I put one on. But within those first couple days, I never used it. I had it, and it was already worrying me, because we all know that, you know, sometimes if you slide it into the dock, it can damage the screen, it can scratch the screen eventually. And just generally speaking, you know, when you're using it, or if you toss it in a bag, it can scratch the screen. I don't mind so much if the console gets scratched, I just don't want the screen to get scratched. I know the console is going to get scratched. That's kind of expected, but I don't want the screen to get scratched. Number four, never put the wrist straps on the wrong way. Now, my wrist straps are actually upstairs in my gaming room, but uh, basically, when you take out the Joy-Con, okay, there are wrist straps that can attach to the Joy-Con. There's a specific way to put them on, and I actually did a separate tutorial on that. Go look up how to put Joy-Con wrist straps on properly, because if you put them in the wrong way, it can be, they can be a pain to get out and it can cause some damage also um, in the process of getting them out if you don't know exactly what you're doing. Number five, never force any connections onto the switch or the switch dock. Now there are lots of ports on the switch that you can utilize, um, lots of slots and stuff like that. And uh, you should never force any connections on there. They're meant to fit in a certain way. And if it doesn't go in easily, then guess what? It's probably not supposed to go in there. This goes with uh, micro SD cards. This goes with any accessories, with anything. Never force any of the connections onto the switch. Even with the joy cons, like I was saying with the wrist straps, don't force them on, right? You know. They should click in and slide in nicely. Don't force them on, okay? Number six, never drop it, okay? Uh, and it, it might happen once or twice in the lifetime of you owning the Switch, but try as hard as you can to not drop it. You know, for me, this is a big deal. I was playing a Nintendo, a new Ninten Nintendo, new 2DS XL for a long time, which is significantly cheaper and, you know, it seems like it's a lot more like, you know, plasticky than this, a lot lighter, at least in that sense. So this is a serious deal for me, okay? So tr don't drop your Switch, okay? I really, and, uh, you know, you got a nice screen on here. Don't drop it, really don't drop it. Number seven, never sell it. I used to have tons of video games and consoles. I made the mistake of selling them all when I was a kid. I traded them in and I sold them for like pennies on the dollar. And now I completely regret it because I would have had not only a valuable collection, but all of my childhood games I would have still had to play. So what I'm doing now is I'm paying a premium to get those games and consoles again. There's no doubt that the Switch will increase in value, okay? It's tried and tested, shown time again, that these types of products, these types of consoles increase in value over time, especially over long periods of time when kept in good condition with the box and the manuals and so forth and all of the accessories. So keep it, don't sell it, take it from me. I sold all my consoles and games for super cheap as a kid. Just keep it. Trust me, it's going to increase in value. And the amount of money that you're going to get for trading this in or selling it is probably minimal. You can earn it in a different way, okay? That's it. Those are seven things you should never do with your Nintendo Switch. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.